Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 16, Gradient. Alright, you can find the Gradient tool right here in your toolbox. So you can select that by clicking it or by pressing the G key. This is what the cursor looks like. So a gradient is two or more nodes set on a path. Each one of those nodes has a color assigned to it and the software blends or mixes those colors in between those nodes. And I'll do a linear first and then I'll show you a radial. So we'll go ahead and select the square by pressing S to get the selection tool and then clicking on the square. Now I'll press G to bring up the gradient. So we have a linear set and it is set to fill, not the stroke. To make the gradient, all you have to do is left click, hold, and drag, and you can do that from any direction. I like to start a little bit above the object and end a little bit below the object. So I'm going to left click, hold, drag down. Alright, so what it's done is on this node, it's taken the source color as black, and now it's mixed it with an alpha channel of zero or opacity of zero. So to change that, this node is already selected. I just have to click a color. Now it's auto mix those colors, and that's what the gradient is. You can change and move your gradient by left clicking any of the nodes and dragging them down or up, or side to side, or just moving them. Okay under select here is the different gradient options you have so if you've created a couple gradients for this project there will be a source there and you can find them reverse the direction of the gradient basically flips it the repeat changes the way that your gradient works so you have a reflect which makes the top or anything above this node look like anything below it you also have the direct, which is basically copies of the gradient. We'll push that back and go back to none. The stops are the actual nodes, so you can select them easily from here. By clicking here, this is the top stop and that is the bottom one, is, and it shows the color assigned to each. If you want to add a stop or a different node in it, you, all you have to do is take your cursor and find the path go right on top of it until the plus symbol appears. Once you see the plus symbol, double click. And there you go. Of course you can adjust this one as well by left clicking and holding and dragging it down. If you want to add a color to that, just have it selected and pick a new color. If you don't like a node or you want to get rid of a node, all you need to do is select it and hit the minus delete stop. So that about does it for the linear we'll move down for the radial right here so the first thing I'm going to do is press the S key select the circle then I'm going to press the G key to bring up my gradient tool select create radial gradient now I'm going to left click hold and drag and nothing appears to happen the reason for that is I had a white source color and when you mix the white source color with zero opacity or is, um, a negative alpha channel basically it's showing a white background so you're not seeing any transition all I have to do to correct that is this one of these outer nodes is selected and I just click a dark color now you can see it these two handles can be adjusted to make the radial gradient appear so if you want more of a spot color you can do something like this or we can spread it out to make more of a smooth transition alright so pressing S for the select key I'm gonna go ahead and press select this and press 3 so we can see it I'll press G to bring up the gradient tool and now I'm going to select cre create I'm going to select the linear gradient and then create gradient in a stroke so now I'm going to left click hold and drag and I will change these colors so we can see a little bit. Alright, if you notice that this node has been set to this color and this one is black, it is only on the stroke. So if you want to change the color or put a gradient on the stroke, just make sure that's set. Also, something to keep in mind, um, a lot of times you run into trouble with that being set. And if you don't realize it, you're wondering why your gradient isn't working. 
maybe you don't see the stroke because it's really small or maybe the colors wash out in the background so if you're not seeing your gradient that's the first thing that you should be checking to troubleshoot there's one other thing I want to go over real quick under the fill and stroke palette I'm gonna press 5 to bring back full screen S select the square so under the fill you will also know that there's a linear and a radial gradient option so if you select something and you have this up and you want to quickly throw a radial gradient on it all you have to do is click that then to edit that gradient you can just click that just it's doing the same thing it's just another way to do it and the stroke has them as well so pressing S selecting that and we're going to change the um, stroke paint to a radial gradient and then we can manipulate that so if you wanted to change that around you could and that does it for gradient please join us for our next Inkscape tutorial Inkscape tutorial number 17 text